Okay, so you've downloaded some malware, in this case Defense Center, which I covered the other day. And you end up with these icons and a couple of others that you really don't want to see that redirect to sites that you don't want to go to. And you're getting bombarded with pop-ups. Open up a browser. Now I'm going to try Hitman Pro. It would help if I spelled it right. And give it a go. Now I tried this earlier and although it found the faults it didn't correct them. Now I'm going to open these links in new tabs and quite often you get this sort of thing, bad request. Hit the back button Now you have 32 bit, 64 bit. It's a 30 day trial version. Save the file I'm going to close these tabs. I'm also going to look for Arco. And again, I will open the link in a new tab. And again, this redirects me. Hit the back button. You may need to do this several times before you actually get to it. Scroll down. Now then, you have the .com, .exe, .scr, .explorer .exe, .iexplorer .exe download links. They've all been renamed to bypass the malware. Now I'm going to download the .com and save the file. I will close that tab. I will also download TDSS Killer. and we'll see what happens here. Now I will open this in a new tab. This is Kaspersky and again it's redirected. Hit the back button and hit it again until such times as it allows me in. So I've had the browser redirects. You have the zip file and you have the exe file. I will download the exe file. Save it. Close the browser. Quit. That's it. Now, we we'll start with Hitman Pro. Simply double click it to run. If you're in Vista or Windows 7, right click and run as administrator. This is important. Click run. And it will load up. And here you have the program. Click next. Accept the terms in the license agreement. And then click next again. And it will scan your computer. It will find the task manager has been disabled and it will find a few other things. It can be quite a lengthy scan. The problem I found is when I rebooted, it came back, scanned again and found all the same things. And it didn't actually resolve the problem. It did not repair task manager, which is disabled. As you can see, this is greyed out. So I'll let it run. We'll see what it comes back with. Now as you can see, task manager is set to be repaired, malware to be quarantined, and this one to be suspicious. This needs to be deleted. There's also Trojan, Rootkit, malware, Trojan, and so it goes on. Another suspicious file. This is actually quite a dangerous one. They are serious threats. Now if we follow the program's recommendations, click next, activate the free license. The product is activated, click next. It's quarantined these items and repaired task manager. Now the next thing you do need to do is to click next and reboot. So I'll reboot, come back and we'll see what's happened. Okay I've rebooted. I still have no task manager. I still have the pop-ups, window security alerts and so on. And I still have bits and pieces on my desktop that I really don't want. And here's our killer and TDSS killer. Another useful tool you can use and it's worth downloading is Process Explorer. Now you can run this off a USB stick. It's nice and easy. Now with this you can see the processes that are running. And as you can see there are three of these here that we don't need. And this replaces Task Manager as an advanced version. But the malware doesn't stop this from running. Now if I bear in mind that most of you won't have this or won't have downloaded it, I'll ignore that. 
Now the first thing to do is to run one of the versions of RKill, whether it's the exe, the .com, the SCR, iExplorer or Explore, what, whichever version you use. Now it may take several attempts before it will actually run and it has been known to take up to 50 attempts to get the program to run but it does eventually kick in Now, as you can see it's killed these three processes it's killed Process Explorer and the program's closed itself and restarted the desktop now the next program I'm going to run, I'm going to clean the temporary files out before I do anything else. So I'm going to run CCleaner. Now if you save your passwords, untick this box, autocomplete form history and saved form information in Firefox and so on. So run the cleaner, get rid of the temporary files. Okay, it's cleaned out the temporary files, it's 16 megabytes. I'm going to run it again to make sure it comes back clean. Okay, it's come back as zero bytes removed. The one important thing here is to go into the advanced settings and ensure this box is unticked. Only delete files in Windows 10 folders older than 24 hours. That is the most important thing. It needs to delete the most recent files. So we can now close this and let's just open a browser. I'm going to try these searches again. We'll open that in a new tab and Arkill. We'll open that in a new tab and there's no redirect at the moment. That hasn't solved the problem. We we'll close the tabs. I'm just going to run CCleaner again just to get rid of that bit of rubbish. And I'll run it again just to make sure it comes back as zero, which it has done. So I can close that window. I will now go and open. Malware Bytes Anti Malware, and I'm also going to open Super Anti Spyware. Now, in both cases, I'm going to update. Check for updates and let them go. Malware Bytes is updated, so you click on the scanner tab and we'll just wait for Super Anti Spyware to finish updating. Okay, both are updated, so quick scan with each. C drive, quick scan next and just allow them to run see what they both come back with okay malwarebytes has found 28 infected objects click OK and it gets booted out Super Andy Spyware has found 27 items so we'll click next and allow it to remove them now you get the prompt to reboot so click yes and reboot okay I've rebooted and I have task manager back as you can see, it's here and it's working. Now, I'm going to run TDSS Killer. Simply run it. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six TDS rootkits here. Press Y on the keyboard to reboot. And we'll come back and scan with malware bytes. I've rebooted, come back, I've done a scan with TDSS Killer. It's come back nice and clean, so I'll exit that and I will then run Malware by Anti Malware. It's already been updated. I'll just check again. I have the latest version, so click on Scanner, Quick Scan, and Scan. Now Malware Byte is finished and there's 25 infected objects. We'll have a look, and as you can see, we have Trojan Agent DNS Changes, Defense Center, Rootkit TDSS, which is one that was missed by TDSS Killer. And if you bear in mind that TDSS Killer took out a number of rootkits, Super Anti Spyware took out a load of programs, uh, a load of malware, and this is found even more. So you need to use multiple programs. This will take you time, but this will also clean your machine. And also make use of programs like CCleaner and Purge Your Restore Points, which I will cover another time. I'll reboot and come back to hopefully a clean machine. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.